Hi, it's been six weeks since I got my braces. I went in for my first adjustment today and I am feeling great. So I, during this last six weeks, I did lose two brackets. They were both on uh, the top back teeth that I have crowns on and they had said that it it's hard to get brackets to stay on so what they decided to do this time was just not put any brackets on that one and stop it at the teeth in front of that which I guess will be okay I haven't been in any pain much the wax really helped and I have not had to use any since that first week or two and there's been a change obviously in six weeks um there's still a lot more that needs to be done but i'm i'm happy with what's going on so far is this I really don't know how to use these YouTube videos. I don't know how to make them better. I don't know how to add effects that I see people doing all the time where they'll sh put little pictures in the corner from past videos and to show progress. I am not in the know on how to do that. So this is, I'm sharing these videos with everybody, but it's just going to really be for me so that I can go back and look at how I was feeling and what I was doing. So anybody that is watching these, I do want to say that I have been using these orthogami. They are, they call them gum chucks. They have them for, um when you have braces but they have them for anybody else also and what they are is so you just open up so it comes in this you just open it up and you come it has two sticks that's why it looks like nunchucks this generally has the floss in there but it's a little bit difficult to fill it up after you've used them all so they come in a bag of refills and it makes flossing a whole lot easier. So here's the floss. And if you can see, um, it has a little hook on it so that you can get under your brace, the wire braces and still floss your teeth. So you just push each side in to the end of the gum chuck. And now you've got that. And then all you have to do, I'm not going to do all my teeth. I've already flossed um, tonight before bed. So you just put this piece is going to go behind the wire. And then you floss your tooth. It's hard to do it backwards when I'm not looking in them. Okay, so that's going to go under my brace. See that? And then I can just floss. It's very easy. So, and then you just push these ends to release it. And then you're gonna push that into the garbage. I'm not gonna do that right now. So I highly recommend those. The only um, problem is when, like here, that tooth is really close to the other one. So it is harder to get um, this piece under there so on that part until there's more movement sometimes i have to use the the threader and actually floss that one individually but there's already been enough movement that i have been able to get under there with the gum chuck so 
I would recommend those for anybody, even without braces. They have regular ones that don't have that hook. I got one, a set for my husband, and he likes them. He says they're really easy to use, and it's easy to get to the back teeth. So that's my piece of advice. Um, I got a thicker wire on the on my bottom teeth today, and the top remained the same. Um, so you can see. It is thicker than the top, the bottom one. And this tooth, last, um, when I got the braces on, the wire, what they call it, didn't engage. That's how they call it. So it wasn't actually in the bracket. It was just over it because the tooth was further back. And so now it is all the way in there. And also this one. They could only get the wire into the front part of the bracket, not that back part. And so now they were able to get it into both. The two teeth on the bottom that are further back, those still are not um, in part of with the braces. Um, so that, that one has a bracket, but the wire is not in it at all. And then this other one. Uh -uh. No bracket at all. There's still not enough room. So, um, they didn't give me a time frame on when. They just said, not yet. We're not ready. But I'm happy. Um, there's no, nothing's rubbing. She said, I go, I asked before I left. Now, how do I make sure it's going to be good and it's not going to be hurting me with the wires poking or anything. She said, just do this and nothing should be rubbing and it's not. Um, they definitely are tighter with the adjustment, but nothing too horrible. Flossing with the gum checks did make them a little bit more sensitive. So now I'm kind of, it's hurting a little bit, but nothing I can't handle. Um, I have been clenching my teeth a lot at night. She said that that's normal. As long as I'm not grinding, then I should be okay. And I asked her about my bite right now because it seems that this side bites down a lot um, sooner where this side doesn't bite down all the way. So my teeth aren't actually closing. She said that that's normal as well, that while we're doing adjustments and stuff, it'll be, my bite will be shifting throughout the whole time. So I've had a long day and that's my update for now that I can think of. I don't want to go on and on forever. And, and Again, sorry these videos are not professional, they're not great, they're not perfect, but I hope at least one person enjoys it. Like and subscribe if you want, and I'm going to keep doing these even if they're just for me, so I can go back and look at them later. Thank you, have a good night, see you later, bye.